Okay, Assalamualaikum and welcome back to Dynamics ECS 429. Now is week 11 and it's 13th January 2022 and it's already 11.17 a.m. So for today's class, uh, we're going to do this uh, example problem, okay? Because previously we have done a lot of examples relating to a disc, circular disc. The circular disc can also be represented like a wheel. So for today's class, we're going to do some uh, different examples. And this example, as you can see in the diagram, is very uh, related and similar to something that we can see uh, right now in front of us. Okay, all of you um, sitting down on your chair. Do you have a window nearby? Window, window, cermin? Window, window. Uh, tingkap. So what you do is try to open the window and see the slot uh, at the side that is helping the window to open and close. Can you go to your windows? Boleh tak go to your windows right now? Class? Ada window tak? Do you have a window in front of you? Hmm? Senyap je. Tak ada window lama, lah. medium. Allah, window lama. Apa tu? Window lama tu tak ada slot. Maksudnya, yeah, yeah. maksudnya kalau tengok. angin tiup, kedebuk, kedebak, kedebuk, kedebak, buka macam tu. Ha? Dia <laughs> tak ada, tak ada something holding it. Ha? Dia loose. Macam tu? Lebih kurang lah. Dia macam, hmm. Macam pintu. Kacau banyak-banyak nanti. Ah. <laughs> oh, ya Allah. Dahsyatnya. You duduk mana tu? <laughs> sekarang kan zaman sekarang kan slot tingkap kan macam tu. Tak ada. Pintu tak ada, pintu. Bila tak apa lah. Pintu. Lain kali you pintu kan kadang ada slot yang macam ni juga. Bila nak buka tutup dekat atas tu. Tapi basically this kind of example slot uh, slot Groove slot ni, you boleh nampak mostly in opening the doors, opening the windows. Um. So kalau Aduh, kalau you apa? Uh, kalau you tak nampak dekat you punya rumah, tak ada benda tu, mungkin you kena pergi kedai. Ha, mungkin kedai nampaklah kot. Okay, tak apa. But this is a typical example that we can see in a window lah. Okay, the groove slot in the window eh. So the key, 10 kilogram rod is con. Tapi kalau I open my, my window, slot dia ada dua. Which is, siapa punya window ada dua rod? Dua rod ke satu? Dua kan? Plus, siapa yang uh, window dia bukan macam uh, ni yang ada 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 apa ada apa lebih daripada dua rod ada tak yang dua rod hmm? semua tak jawab hmm? tak ada saya satu saja oh you satu saja saya dua ke okay. tak kisah lah satu dua ke uh, asalkan this is the concept ah eh? okay yeah. The 10 kilogram rod So rod ni yang 10 kilogram ni Yang Ni lah saya halat uh, Saya halat lah warna kuning eh Rod 10 kilogram ni uh -huh. Ni ni eh Yang ni, ni rod ni Biasanya dia besi lah Dia warna bronze lalunya Yang rod ni Yang kita nampak dekat tingkat rumah kita ni Warna bronze eh is constrained so the ends move along a groove slot. So dia constrain, dia constrain kat dua ada dua point lah, dia constrain kat point A dengan point B ni lah. E B eh. Okay. The rod is initially at rest when theta equals to uh, the rod is initially at rest when theta equals to 0 degrees. If the slider block at B is acted upon a horizontal force, so maksudnya ada slider. Slider tu, you faham tak maksud slider? Dia allow it to move. Dia slide. Okay, that's why nama dia slider. Dia slide tu, maksud slider tu, dia allow it to move. Okay. Um, it's acted upon a horizontal force P. So ada force P ni, nampak 50 Newton. Determine the angular velocity. So, Omega. Now, tujuan again kenapa kita buat soalan ni sebab I nak expose to you all to different types of examples so that you can do for your project, okay? So, untuk soalan ni determine the angular velocity. 
Okay. Now, of the rod, apa saya tulis ni? At the, ya Allah, apa saya tulis tu? Of the rod at the instant. Sorry. Tak apa saya tulis ni. This is instant eh. At the instant. Okay, sorry eh. Tak apa lah. You all salin eh. At the instant. At, at, at the instant. Okay. Neglect the friction of the mass of block A and B. Okay. So, asalnya, kalau angle dia 0 degrees, macam mana bentuk dia? Asalnya. Dia straight ke? Ke horizontal? Macam mana? Straight. Ah, dia straight eh. Nak buang ni. Okay. Dia straight. Okay. So, asal dia straight. So, we can say that uh, originally... Okay, sorry, uh, my diagram not that nice. Okay, asalnya dia straight. Position macam ni. This is when the angle is 0 degrees lah. Okay, so uh, asalnya macam ni. Okay, ni G kat tengah ni eh. And then what happen? It moves kan? Dia move dia jadi macam ni. Ha. Dia move dia jadi macam ni. Okay, so when dia move jadi macam ni. Uh, apa? Uh, this is the second position lah. At angle theta equals to 45 degrees. Okay, now. So, when you see this question, they ask you to calculate the angular velocity. Which method you want to use to solve this problem? Do you want to use the principle of work energy ke? Ataupun um, uh, impulse and momentum method? Which one? Tak tahu. Now, ada time tak dalam ni? Tak ada kan? So, obviously, dia bagi uh, displacement kan? Kan this, what is happening here? To the to the rod. What is happening to the rod? The rod is displaced, betul tak? Kalau the rod is displaced, what method you need to use? Who can answer me? Work and energy. Ah, work energy. So, we need to use work energy method eh. So, we need to use work and energy method because there is a displacement happening. Okay, so since there is a displacement happening, you need to use work energy method. And furthermore, the values that is given is related to work energy. So work energy is T1 plus work equals to T2 lah. Okay, now. So at uh, at uh, position 1 where angle is 0, what is the angular velocity? What is omega here? What is the omega here? Omega 1. 0 kan? Why? Why 0? Ni. <coughs> initially at rest. Ah, Initially at rest. So, uh, omega 1 is 0. But what is uh, the omega at 45 degrees? Omega 2. We do not know. We need to find. Ah, You need to find. Good. Okay, now. So, if you look at this kind of uh, rod, this rod, this rod, uh, how, what kind of kinetic energy is occurring? Now, you know the formula of kinetic energy is what? For rigid body, there are two formulas. Can you tell me? What is the formula for kinetic energy for rigid body? Ada dua. What is it? Cari nota ke? 1 nota. over 2 uh? mb square. Yes. Plus uh, I on, on over to I omega square. One over two juga. Sekejap. Bukan eh. I uh, omega square je kot. Tak ingat eh. One over <laughs> two I <laughs> omega square. I omega square tu sahaja, hanya untuk uh, untuk uh, impulse. Sekarang ni dia one over two juga. Oh betul betul betul. Ha. Ayo. Jangan <laughs> silap eh. Silap, Jangan silap, buat ha. silap tu. Okay. Alright. So now. So if you look at this diagram. Okay. What kind of kinetic energy is occurring? Is there is there any. Okay. This kinetic energy is due to translation kan? They translate. Translation. It means it's being dragged. Translation ataupun drag. Digerakkan. This one is due to rotation. Now, if you look at this, uh, apa, apa, this, apa, uh, apa, apa, rod, is there any translation happening? Yes or no? 
Ada ke tak ada? Hmm. Ada kan? Ada kan? Because asalnya uh. asalnya dia macam ni. Tahu tak? Asalnya dia macam ni. Allah tak cantik lah dah ke mana. Allah. Okay asalnya dia macam position one kan? Dia kat, dia kat sini kan? And then what happened to it? What happened to it? It's being dragged from here to here. Betul tak? Yes. It's being dragged from position one to position two. So what it means is at there is a there is what? There is a velocity at B. At point B ni. Ada velocity. Okay. Tapi dekat point A there is no velocity lah. Dia fix. Sebab that's why dia kata ni adalah slider. Dia bergerak. Okay now, so it means there is a translation. It is being dragged because it has been dragged from position one to position two. So good. So we know there is a translation involved. Now, is there any rotation involved? Yes or no? No. Hey. Asalnya dia macam ni. Asalnya dia straight. Lepas so tu dia rotate ke sini. Ah. So there is translation also oh, involved. Oh, so ah, uh, there also there is a translation. So it's considered there is a rotation involved also. Okay, and the rotation ah uh, they rotate. Hmm. So but our chara movement dia so, yang ujung ni they drag and then they rotate with the angle. Okay, so there is translation and rotation involved. Okay, alright, good. So now we need to come up with the free body diagram lah. Okay, let's draw the free body diagram first. Okay. Oops. Uh, not that easy yeah, drawing guna whiteboard ni. Okay, so of course, uh, of course, kita ada point A kat sini kan, point B. Okay, so dekat point B ni, um, <coughs> okay, dekat point uh, B ni, Um, uh, okay, so first number one uh, dekat point G ni kita ada apa? Ada apa? Class? Wait. Ah, uh, wait. What is the weight? Mg. So it's ten times nine point eight one. So you dah tahu dah eighty nine point one newton lah. Okay, ya G. So and then you ada. You ada force 50 Newton. Okay. So that is the free body diagram lah. So dekat sini of course there ada normal force. Dan ni ada normal force lah. Okay now. So untuk this free body diagram, untuk work, what type of work you're going to consider? There are two types of work. One is due to what? Couple moment, tak ada moment. One is due to oh, weight. Silap. One is due to weight, yang ni. And the other okay. one is due to P, force P. Okay? So, there are two types of work involved. One due to weight, one due to force P. Okay? Alright, so kita dah identify all this. Then we can start doing our uh, putting into equation lah. Okay. Since, the, uh, since uh, omega... Angular, since omega, apa, angular velocity is zero for omega one, so it means T1 sama dengan zero lah. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to find for T2 lah. So this one is zero lah. Okay, next is T2. So T2, we know the formula is MVG squared plus one over two I omega squared. Okay, omega squared ni ialah omega two eh. So, 1 over 2, what is the mass? 10. Okay, do you have the velocity? We don't have the velocity, eh? We do not have the velocity. So, what we uh, what we need to do is, we will need to find it, lah. So, we need to find the velocity, eh? We don't have. Okay. Plus 1 over 2, I. Okay, I. For this is I rod. What is the formula for I rod? What is the formula? Sometimes dalam exam test dia tak bagi. You must know eh. One. Ha. One. One je tau. Betul? <laughs> one over two ke one over twelve eh? Ayuh! Come on, come on guys. 
One of the twelve. Okay, one ah, of the twelve. Ah, one of the twelve. ML square. Yeah. So, one over twelve. Masses pulo. Um, L L length the proper. What is the length? Hmm. Zero point eight. Baba, zero point eight. Hmm. Kuasa dua. Multiply by omega squared. Okay. So, this is the equation. So, obviously, kita kena cari the velocity lah. Do you remember the formula for velocity is what? R omega. Ingat that formula? So, you need to find the velocity. R omega. So, what is the R? So, R ni we respect with from point, point G ya. Yeah. So, what is the R? Ni R lah. What is the R? Class? 0 0.4. 0 0.4. Tapi, the R must be with, with respect to the angle. So, if you want to find that length with respect to the angle, is what? Kosong 0.4 tangent 45. Tapi, dapat juga kosong 0.4 balik. Betul tak? Yeah. Hmm. And then multiply by omega. So this is the formula lah. So 0.4 tangent 45 dapat 0.4 balik. Okay. So you masukkan ni dalam formula ni. So sometimes when you don't get the value, you need to find it. So you know that is 0.4 omega squared. Jangan lupa kuasa 2. Ha. So can you please uh, tell me the simplified? Can you calculate this and simplify the calculation? Please calculate for me. I want the answer in omega. Di dalam tu square lah. Hmm. Apa apa lah? Dah? Namanya? Hmm? Hello? Enam minit. Ada apa-apa? Enam. Enam? Betul-betul? Patutnya you dapat 0.8 omega squared campur dengan 0.2667. So ni akan dapat, siapa dapat sama? Ya. Yeah. Ha. So adalah silap kaklik tu. Siapa silap kaklik tu? Hmm. Tolong kira balik. Hmm. Okay. Next, you need to find the work. Okay. Now, there are two types of work. Kita have identified. Now, work due to weight and the other one is work due to force. Okay. So, work due to weight, mg kali y2 minus y1 plus uh, <coughs> Okay, work mass 10 
9.81. Now, delta Y. Okay, so delta Y. So, asalnya, asalnya dia punya, asalnya dia punya tu uh, berapa? Asal. Asal dia punya position due to weight. Macam mana guys? Asalnya dia macam ni kan? Allah, tak cantik betul. I try to make you understand eh. So asalnya. Oh dia jadi macam tu pula tak takpelah. Okay asalnya. Bila dia dekat weight. Dia 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 punya length dia berapa? 0.4. Betul tak guys? Betul tak dia punya height? Bila dia jadi macam ni. You rasa dia punya dia punya sekarang ni you kena consider ni tau. Uh, dia punya delta y ni kena vertical, vertical length. Ya Allah. Okay. What I'm trying to say is for delta y you kena consider consider the vertical length. Y2 minus y1. Ah. Uh. And then for the force s you kena consider the horizontal length. Okay, kita buat yang senang dululah bagi you fahamlah. Okay. Have a look at the force P. So force P, asalnya dia dekat position 1 kan. Lepas tu dia bergerak ke position 2 kan. So you need to find what? This length. So what is that length? That length will be 0.8 apa? Sine 45. Faham tak? This is the length. 0.8 sine 45. That is the length. Betul tak? So, bila you nak buat displacement untuk force P ni, formula untuk force P ni, it will be what? Plus 40, eh 40, eh sorry, 50 times the length, the displacement length. The displacement length will be 0 0.8 sine 45 degrees. Okay. Now, untuk delta Y, so now, originally, height dia berapa? 0.4. Betul tak? Lepas tu, bila dia bergerak, ada angle ni 45, you rasa dia punya vertical tu, adakah dia, 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 dia bila dia naik lebih atas, dia jadi lagi pendek kan? Betul tak? Uh -huh. Ha. So, what is that height? Ha. What is that height due to the angle? So, we can assume, so saya buat straight ni. Okay. Let's say this is your ni kan? So, you kena find that, that length. That length, the change in length tu, what is that length? So the length will be what? 0 0.4 sine ke cos? Cos lah. Hmm. So obviously you senang je lah. You terus lah letak, letak terus letak dalam formula ni. 0.4 minus 0.4 cos 40. So you dapat lah the change. Okay. So that is your work lah. So you put this all into the formula. Formula dia apa? <coughs> T1 plus work ke T2. T1 is 0. Work is this one lah. 10 kali 9.81 kali 0.4 minus 0.4 cos. 45 plus 50 kali 0.8 sin 45. I don't know ni. This one you can calculate. Equals to 1.0667 omega squared. So you can dapatkan omega. So you dapatlah angular velocity. So can you please calculate for me what is the angular velocity? <coughs> Tambah ni ya, eh. tambah dia ada velocity ni. Velocity ni ialah Vg yang kita cari ni.
De quién era? Mm -hmm. Ya, vamos ya. No papá. What answer did you get? Are you still calculating? Ada kat check box, madam. Gitu, ada dekat check box. <laughs> Jelah. Six point one zero seven. Ah, betul. Laka pula. Okay. Six point one zero seven. Ah, boleh betul. Maksudnya six point one lah. One one lah. Okay betul. Unit dia radian per second ya. Eh? Jangan lupa. So that is the answer ya. Eh? So basically, what I want to try to introduce to you today is a different type of questions. Uh, that is related to this topic lah But uh, for your project You can use this same problem And relate to all the three topics It means if you want to ask This question related to time You can also do that If you want to relate it to acceleration pun boleh It means that for your project You have to find an example That you can relate all three topics together lah which is topic chapter 3, 4, 5 lah. Uh, and try to solve the problems lah. You change some parameters. Maybe you want to change what is the time taken. Uh, um, uh, you can include time taken. You can include uh, changing different angles. And you want to see in the results what effects it will give. Uh, or you want to change the type of forces. And then maybe if you change a certain value, you see there is no uh, difference in the results. It could happen also. When you set, change a certain uh, variable, the, the time does not make an effect because it's not considered in the formula. Uh, so those are kind of the discussions and things that we want you to include. Or you want to, for example, for this Example, you want to change the type. It is not it, apa, it does not only can slide at B, at A pun dia boleh slide. Uh, maybe you want, you know, those are all creativities lah. And how you implement this creativity, you need to put in your project. Hmm. So if you want to find acceleration, mungkin you need to use the Newton second law formula lah. Uh, pun boleh juga. Uh, for the same problem, you can use Newton's second law and solve for acceleration. Yes. So basically, um, I'm just trying to come up with some variety types of questions so that you can uh, relate to your project lah. Because I'm worried that I'm worried that uh, uh, um, um, you all keep doing the same example at this or rotating this. But actually, there is a lot of other examples that you can relate to lah. Okay. All right, uh, a this is also a wheel, a car, wheel, car, some things like that. Lah. Okay, since we have a few minutes left, I want to do the revision kit. Can we do the revision kit? One question. Uh, no, we want no, to no. do one question of the revision kit. Okay, did you go and look at the week 11 video? I hope you all looked at that video eh? because um. Yeah, the on Monday video, there are extra things I explained there, not in the in this class. So it's good to you to look. Okay, so we're gonna do this revision kit. We're gonna do. We're gonna do question. This question. Okay, all right. So draw this diagram. This question in your what? In your. Um, in your notes, can you draw this? So I'll just read the question out. Figure question four shows a double pulley. So there's a double pulley here. 
Okay, having a total mass of 15 kilograms. Okay, so the pulley is 15 kilograms. Okay, and ada centroidal radius of gyration. So, dia kata kat sini, ada central radius of gyration of 150 mm and 250 mm. So, the outer radius is 250. The inner radius is 150. Okay, block A and block B are attached to cords that are wrapped around the pulley. So, you have the dual block ni. Both are attached to the cords, okay? The coefficient of kinetic friction between block B and the surface is 0 0.2. So, maksudnya ada friction between block B and the surface, eh? So, ada friction, eh? If the system is released at rest condition, so they release from rest uh, in condition, uh, I showed in question figure, question 4B, write the equation which relates the speed of the block A and B with angular speed. And vertical distance with angular angle. Okay, dua markah je. Okay, so how we want to relate that? And then question number number two, determine the velocity of the block A when it strikes the ground. Seven marks. And then calculate the distance that block B moves before coming to rest. Okay, so obviously when you see this kind of question, uh, it's a um, simple question. But let's see how whether you can answer it lah. Okay, so are you, uh, did you sketch the diagram already? I have not. I need to sketch it also. You got lah kan? Okay, let me sketch it. So this is example June 2015 eh. Okay, now. Let's draw a circle first. And then there's a sm smaller circle. Okay, and then the smaller circle is pulling the uh, the block box B lah, 10 kilogram. And then, and then we have this one is, oh, probably see, not okay. This one radius the 150 mm. And this one is 250 mm. And then this mass is 15. The pulley, eh? The mass of the pulley is 15 kilogram. Okay, mass of pulley penting, eh? Yelah, kalau mungkang, <laughs> you can also play, change the mass of the pulley and see the difference in the results that you get, eh? Okay. <clears throat> And then, what do we have? They are reached to a certain point here. Um, 900 millimeter, okay? All right. Okay. So, now, let's answer question number one first lah. Okay. So, what is question number one? Jump. Question number one is... Write the equation we relates to the speed. So they want us to write the equation that relates to the speed. Okay, relates to the speed uh, of the blocks and angular speed okay and vertical distance with angular angle. Vertical distance and angular angle. <coughs> okay, vertical distance. Okay. Okay. Can you guess what formula you want to use to relate all this? Can you guess? There are two formulas. What is it? Can you add guess? Can you guess? Class? I will... R omega S R theta. Yes, S goes to R theta. Good. Okay, so how are we going to relate all these three formulas together? So since we have two, so you have to consider V A other V B other lah. Okay. So V A means R A omega. V B is R B. Omega, and then you have to you have S A equals to R A theta, 
and then S B equals to R B theta. Okay, so when you relate this, what is the difference? Is only the radius lah, the radius. So you, when you want to write it, it will be uh, I write here. It will be um, ala tak cantik pula. Let me uh, gerakkan ni sikit. Move it a bit here. Okay. Okay. Right. So this one will be when you relate the formula. So it's just going to be RA adalah 0 0.25 ke uh, 0 0.15. Yang mana? RA. RA will be? 0 0.25. Ah, jangan silap. Sometimes the, these things are yang causing you to make a mistake lah. Zero, so 0 0.25 omega. This one will be 0 0.15 omega. Senang je lah. So ni pun sama lah. 0 0.25 theta. 0 0.15 theta. So this one. This one biasanya, uh, how many marks is it? Two marks. So basically, if it's two marks, this one half a mark. Dia akan jadi lah. Half a mark, ni half a mark, ni half a mark, ni half a mark. Total, you dapat two marks. Uh, something like that lah. Okay. Now, next question. Okay. Hold on. Okay. So what is the next question? What is the next question? Lupa pula dah. Patah balik tak? Determine the velocity of block A when it strikes the ground. Okay, so. How, how should we determine the velocity of block A when it strikes the ground? How, what method are you going to use? Now, think. The question is, they want the velocity V. Okay, when it strikes the ground. What is V? So, what is V? What method are you going to use? Class? Other work energy method? Other impulse and momentum method? Which one are you going to use? Class? Hello. Oh, and energy. Yes, yeah, so work energy because ada displacement kan. Eh? So, let's use work energy. So, work energy, kita tahu work energy is simple T1 plus work equals to T2. Okay, so T1. So, the kinetic energy because this start from rest, T1 0 eh. So, very simple eh. So, you must write T1 equals to 0. So, now kita need to find T2. Now, for T2, okay, let's look at this diagram. Okay. So, what is involved in this diagram? You have a block A, you have a block B, and you have a pulley C. Now, for block A, okay, now, obviously, um, uh, we know for kinetic energy, there is two formulas that you need to relate. Tadi, kita dah buat tadi. What is it? 1 over 2 mv squared. The other one is 1 over 2 i omega squared. Now, Okay, so you have to look at the motions that is the, the, the items that is causing motion that is moving. So, number one, block A. Block A, block A, dia ada translation tak? This is for translation. And this one is for rotation. So, so block A, dia ada translation tak? Dia translate tak? Is it being dragged to a different position? Ada. Ada. Okay, kena, kena laju-laju lah sikit. Dah pukul berapa dah ni, kan? Okay, so drag, block A is translation. is being translate. You kena faham, translation ni dia drag. So, dia drag daripada position A, dia at, sampai dia strike the ground lah. So, maksudnya nanti dia akan reach this ground lah. Okay, dia akan reach this ground lah kan? So, dia translate. Dia ada rotation tak block A? Block A, is there any rotation? No. No, kan? 
No, no. Ah, so you only consider translation one over two, m a v a squared. Okay. So kalau block A hanya ada translation, obviously block B pun translation juga lah. Dia bergerak kan? Block B tu bergerak kan? Ah, ah. So block B pun translation saja. So plus one over two m b v B kuasa 2. Now, how about this pulley? This pulley, ada translation tak? Kelas, pulley ni. Pulley ni. Ada translation tak, this pulley? Tak ada. Why? Because dia fix kan? Ada pin yeah. kat sini. Ada pin, nampak ni. Ada pin. Uh -huh. Pin. Dia pin. So, dia pin kat situ. Dia fix kat situ. Dia tak boleh nak uh, translate. Tapi, dia boleh rotate tak? Boleh kan? Boleh, boleh. So, disebabkan dia boleh rotate, dia ada 1 over 2 I omega square. So, this is the our T2 lah. So, let's write our write down our T2. 1 over 2 multi 1 over 2 multiplied by M. What is our mass? Lalu put down. Mass A 12.5, mass B 10. Macam ada angin ni bergerak whiteboard ni. So, 12.5. Do you have VA? Kita tak ada VA. Okay. Tak apa, kita tulis ni dulu. 1 over 2 kali uh, 10 lah. 10 kali PB. Okay. 1 over 2. Okay. Can you calculate I? Boleh calculate I tak? Class. What is our I? Hello. M K square. Hmm. Tapi K ni nak pakai apa? Hmm? Dia bagi ke? K dia nak pakai apa? <coughs> Central radius of gradient of 150 and 250. So, macam mana? Dua-dua? Ha? Eh. Dua-dua? Apa ni? Central radius of gradient. Macam mana ni nak calculate I? Uh, revision kit ni ada bagi tahu ke I nak pakai apa? Sekejap. Mana dia punya... Oh, answer. Haa. Uh -uh. Jun 15 eh, video. Ha? Huh? Jun 15 eh? Apa? Jun, Jun 15 eh? Sekejap mana tu saya hilang pula ke? Sekejap eh. Sekejap bagi saya tengok soalan ni balik. I dia nak pakai apa? Tak tahu tak rasa ni. <sighs> Shows a double pulley having top of the center 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 kita oh. um, kita assume lah sekarang ni untuk soalan ni kita assume k dia to be um, so untuk soalan ni let's assume k 
Okay, assume a radius of gyration to be 160 mm. Okay, 160 mm. Okay, so kalau contoh, kalau I, macam mana kaki I? I sama dengan apa? MK squared kan? Kena, kenapa kena pakai ni? Sebab ada radius of gyration kan? 16 kali 16. Kali 0.16 Betul tak? 16 kilo eh? Berapa? Eh 16 kilo pula dah 15 kan? 15 hmm. Okay So kita assume eh 15 kali 0.16 kuasa 2 And then uh, dalam bentuk omega squared Okay now So this is our Uh, apa our equation lah Okay now Untuk soalan ni Dia nak determine the uh, V Apa Velocity uh, Apa Soalan ni Dia minta determine Velocity the, extract the ground uh, Velocity V for extract the ground So dia nak dapatkan V lah Okay So kalau Okay so ni adalah formula T kita ya. Eh. Okay So sekarang ni Kita tahu VA VB VABB kita berapa? Hmm. VABB kita adalah uh, uh, 0.25 omega dengan 0.15. So kita gantikan lah. Okay. Kali dengan VA kita adalah 0.25. Jangan lupa kuasa 2. Okay. 1 per 2 kali 10 kali 0.15. Oh jangan lupa. Ada... Ada omega squared kan? Sekejap. Panjang pula macam ni kan? Ya. Omega squared. Jangan lupa. Okay. Uh, ah, betul lah. 1 per 2 kali 10 kali uh, 0.15 uh, omega. Ni jangan lupa squared. So semua dalam sebutan uh, apa omega squared dah sekarang. Betul tak? Okey. Tolong dapatkan jawapan ni. Jawapan ni mesti dalam omega squared. Okey. Alright. So ini untuk uh, kinetic energy. Okey sambil-sambil you cari tu. Uh, saya teruskan ya. Untuk work. Okey. Untuk work pula. Okay, uh, work. What type of work is involved in this question? Class? Ada work due to apa? Okay, tengok balik diagram. Due work due to weight, betul tak? Work of block kan? Satu. Block A. Okay. Alright. Uh, work of block A ada. And then ada friction, betul tak? Ada friction. Uh, what is the friction? Eh, berapa value friction tu? Friction of force dia berapa? 0.25 So ada friction uh, Apa lagi ada? Hmm. So the total work is involved ialah due to what? Satu due to work of block A Okay block B ada work tak? Ah, uh, sorry. Block block B ada work due to weight tak? Tak ada kan sebab dia on the surface kan? So kita ada uh, work of block A. Uh, lagi satu kita ada apa? Uh, frictional force of block uh, B. Uh, due to friction force eh. So kita need to write the work involved eh. Okay, jom tulis the work involved. Dia kat sini kot lagi senang. Okay, so there are two type of work. <coughs> Satu work due to weight Kan uh, Weight uh, W Multiply dengan Ni je lah Data Y lah Senang lah Kalau ni data Y dia <coughs> Berapa? 0.9 Oh ada Okay So kat sini Work due to weight dia adalah 12 kali 9.81 Kali dengan Berapa? Ni. Ni berapa ni? 
Sembilan Okay due to that Due to that Lagi satu Due to apa uh, Frictional force lah Okay Frictional force ya yeah. Berapa Block B lah Ni block A Block B pula lah Block B Kalau frictional force Normal force ya yeah. berapa Frictional force So lagi satu Due to frictional force Kali dengan Uh, SB lah okay. So kalau frictional force macam mana dapatkan frictional force Apa formula frictional force Mu N ha? uh, Frictional force sama dengan Mu K N oh, So oh. berapa normal force kita ni Ni weight Ni normal force So kita tahu normal force N sama W Sama dengan W lah So uh, W kita berapa? Uh, 10 kali 9.81 So ni dapat berapa? Betul ke? 24 Mana kalkulator? Kalkulator tak ada <coughs> Okay So okay Tapi frictional force ni jangan lupa Dia tanda ni negatif eh So I tulis balik bawah ni lah Work Work equals to uh, 12 kali 9.81 kali 0.9 Tolak frictional force kita Iaitu 0.25 kali 10 kali 9.81 Tapi kali SB Okay, kenapa kena kali SB? Because dia punya dia punya movement ni Dia, dia rotate terhadap uh, dia punya apa tu Pulih ni kan So, apa formula SB kita? Ha, okay. Alright. Ha, okay. Now. <coughs> okay. SA sama dengan berapa? 0.25 theta. Okay. You tahu SA sama dengan 0.25 theta. SB pula sama dengan 0.15 theta. Okay. Alright. Uh, boleh tak cari uh, SB dalam sebutan SA? Sebab apa? Sebab kita tahu SA value. SA kita berapa? Kelas SA kita berapa? Ni. Berapa ni SA kita? 900. Ha, 0.9 kan? Ha, so SA ni dah jadi 0.9. Ha. So kalau SA sama dengan 0.9, SB sama dengan berapa? Hmm. Okay, saya tulis lah ya. So, SB sama dengan 0.15 bahagi dengan 0.25 kali dengan 0.9. Faham tak macam mana dapat ni? Sebab tita dia sama. Faham tak? Siapa bila? So kita dapatlah SB. Siapa pula macam mana nak dapat SB ni? SA sama dengan 0.25 tita. SB sama dengan 0.15 tita. Kita tahu SA punya distance adalah 0.9. So tita kan sama. So kita bolehlah dapat SB. So SB sama dengan 0.15 bahagi 0.25 kali 0.9. So kita dapat 0.54 meter. Okay, boleh tak? Ada yang blur-blur lagi ni? Boleh, ada. Boleh. Max kan, super max. So sama dengan uh, tadi 0.25 kali 10 kali 981. Kita kena kali dengan S uh, B tadi 0.54. Okay. So ini adalah formula work. So work ni tolong kira dapat berapa? Jawapan ni mesti dalam joule. Work dapat berapa? <coughs> Sorry eh masa terextend sikit tapi kita habiskan eh. Tapi kalau siapa yang ada kelas, ada kelas ke? Ada kelas ke? 
Saya tak ada. Ah, okay. Sorry ya, eh, siapa yang ada kelas. Nanti kalau siapa ada kelas boleh leave lah. Tapi siapa yang tak ada, kita continue. Kita habiskan uh, jawab ni. Tolong kirakan. Dapat berapa? 13 lah, Madam. 13.24. Betul? Hmm. 13.24 yang mana? Yang yang work due to friction eh? Ha. Yang ni? Yang ni uh, 13.24. Yang ni? Ha. Yang ni? Oh, yang, yang tu. Tak ingat lagi. Ha. <laughs> tak so, kisah ni tu. Hmm. Uh, 105.95. 100? Ha. 100? 5.95. Eh, iya ke? 12.5? 12.5 lah. Tolong tukar ni 12.5. Kita lihat sekali. 12.5 eh, oh. kali ha. 9.81 kali 0.9. Berapa? 110.363 Okay 363 minus uh, 13.2424 Okay hmm. So ini uh, So inilah dia So masukkan dalam formula ni Oops. So maksudnya kita dah tahu dah uh, Apa T1 Plus work ni kos tu T2. So T1 kita kosong. Work kita adalah 110.363 minus 13.24 maka kos tu T2. T2 tadi dah kira dah dapat berapa? No T2 tadi 0.3696 eh. Omega square. Hmm. Bersalah. Saya tak pastilah berapa. Um, ada tak dapat 0.6951? Alamak. Is that you? I tak tahu betul ke tak. I pun tak tahu jawapan ni betul ke tak. Tapi ada tak I dapat sama macam ni? Ha? Yang lain asyik Kemal Harun je. <laughs> <laughs> tak apalah. Dapat 0.6945. Ah. ah, okay lah. Ah, silap ah. dia tu. Ah, 6945. Okay lah boleh lah. Okay, 69. 45. Betul lah tu. Tapi saya dapat 6951. Saya tak tahulah yang mana betul. 45 ke 91. Jauh juga tu. Belakang dia kan. Siapa Tapi 69 lah. Hmm. Ha, yang penting macam 0.69. Okay. So daripada sini 6.9 omega squared. Kita boleh dapat omega lah. So the omega dapat berapa? Eleven point eight six. Okay, eleven point eight betul. Yeah. Radian per second. Per second. Okay, tapi kita masih tak menjawab soalan sebab yeah. dia sebab dia nak apa? Dia nak velocity. So apa hmm. formula tadi? Velocity sama dengan v r omega. Ah, so r dia adalah zero point two five kali dengan uh, omega sebelas point lapan. So from here kita dapat apa? Dapat tak 2.9? Dapat tak? Hmm. 2.9 9.5 okey. Okey. So basically yang yang you all kena tahu ialah bila you tengok soalan ni you kena tahu the what type of kinetic energy yang ada kat blok A so due to translation saja blok B due to translation tapi ada rotation dekat pulley. Ha. Lepas tu what kind of work involved? So obviously uh, work tu is um, uh, what kind of work that is causing uh, the motion. So untuk block A uh, work due to weight lah. Uh -huh. Untuk block B tak ada work due to weight. Dia hanya ada work due to frictional force. So hmm. jangan tersilap lah kat situ. Okay because they're on the surface. Macam ni, on a platform surface, okay. Yeah. So, dia hanya ada work due to frictional force, bukan weight. Okay, kadang-kadang adalah yang silap tu, dia nampak block, semua ada weight. Okay, alright. So, itu saja work yang involve eh. Ha. Okay, alright. And then you masukkan dalam formula, settle. So, you tujuh markah untuk tu eh, banyak eh. Okay, okay. And then the next question, 
last question. Okay, the last question is dia suruh calculate the distance that block B moves before coming to rest. So, dia nak tahu distance of block B pula. So, macam mana kita nak tahu the distance of block B before coming to rest? So, sekarang ni, <coughs> sekarang ni, tadi, masa you buat work energy ni, uh, <coughs> you consider uh, block A dengan block B, betul tak? Hmm. So, bila you nak uh, uh, jawab soalan nombor tiga ni, you nak consider apa pula? Dia kan, dia kan consider two things. Dia T1 plus work equals to T2, kan? T1 dengan T2, kan? Hmm. Okay, initial and final of uh, two situation, kan? So, you need to tahu you nak consider apa. So, untuk question number three, because dia suruh calculate the distance of block B for before coming to rest, macam ni you nak buat? You boleh consider apa? Untuk Pasti. soalan tiga ni, uh, macam mana? Uh, consider. You, block B, of course you kena consider block B sebab dia minta block B kan? Ha. Block B and polisi lah. Uh, you okay. boleh pecahkan. Untuk soalan you boleh pecahkan dan consider yang yang certain. So untuk soalan ni, obviously uh, apa uh, cara dia sama je. Cuma... Uh, kita ada tadi T1, T2 ni dah jadi T3 lah. So T3 ada apa? Hmm. Faham tak? So sekarang ni, sekarang ni T, uh, tadi T1 hingga T2 kan? So sekarang ni kita ada T4 dengan T3, uh, T3 dengan T4. Tapi kalau you tak nak confuse T3 dengan T4, you boleh consider 1 and 2. Tapi sekarang ni uh, before the block come to rest, maksudnya kita punya T2 dah jadi apa? Untuk soalan nombor tiga tu, apa dia minta? Uh, distance of the block before coming to rest. You kena understand. Soalan dia, kita salin soalan dia terang-terang kat sini. Distance of the block before coming to rest. So, bila you nampak soalan ni sebenarnya, maksudnya sekarang ni you punya T2 pula jadi kosong. Final dia kosong. Ah final punya kosong. So jangan salah kat situ eh. Okay. Disebabkan kita dah label T1, T2, T3. So kita bolehlah buat sini jadi T3 dengan T4 lah. Supaya tak nak confuse lah. Uh -huh. Ataupun you nak buat T1, T2 balik. Tapi untuk soalan yang berbeza pun boleh. Mana-mana lah. Ikut uh -huh. you punya pemahaman lah. So untuk T3 kita ada of course. Ada puli tu lah. Okay. And then of course kita ada. Sebab sekarang ni kita hanya consider uh, apa block and pulley. Okay. So kita consider block and pulley. So kita ada M, B, V, B lah. Okay. So ni kalau you calculate ni. I tadi sama lah. 15 K kita ambil 0.16. Kita assume. Okay. Alright. Dan ni kena square lah. Omega kita dah dapat tadi eh? Omega tadi berapa? Sebelas poin lapan. Betul tak? Okay, sorry. Omega tadi sebelas poin lapan. Hmm, sebelas poin lapan. Okay. Kebelah tadi mana? Okay. Plus one hmm. over two. Kali 10 kali velocity of block B. Velocity of block B tadi apa? VB sama dengan R omega. So R R omega tadi kita dah dapat ke? Dah uh, berapa tadi? 2.95. Okay. Hah? Hmm? Um... Oh kita dah dapat omega. Ha. 
uh, dalam bentuk omega kan. So kalau macam tu VB sama dengan R omega. Yang ni ada squared. Sebab ni kuasa 2. So dia macam ni lah. Ha. You kena careful lah bila buat macam ni. I pun boleh kita kita manusia. Kita boleh silap. Boleh, tapi K10. R tu kena square. Okay. So R kita berapa? Untuk uh, radius block B. R kita. Kalau you perasan block B is pulled by the inner radius kan. So 0.15 lah. Kali dengan omega. Omega kita sama. Tak bad. No. Tak nak ni. Omega kita berapa? 11.8. Okay. So dapatkan T3 ni berapa. Okay. So again cara dia sama. What is the work involved? What is the work involved? Of course the work involved ada satu je lah. What is the work involved? Due to the frictional lah. Iaitu frictional force. Kali dengan. S, B. Frictional force tadi kita dah dapat kan? Betul tak? Kita dah kira tadi. Berapa kita kira tadi? Frictional force kali S, B. Kita dapat. Uh, uh, frictional force tadi kita dah dapat kan? Dapat apa tadi? Neg frictional force macam ni kita calculate frictional force tadi. Mu K, N. Betul tak? Frictional force. Kita calculate mu K, N. Ni negatif, mu k n n b kali s b. Sekarang ni main purpose kita nak cari apa? S b ya kan? Okay. So mu k tadi berapa? 0.25 kali mass. Berapa mass blok b? 10 kali 9.81 kali s b. Ni s b yang kita nak cari lah. Alright. So you ada semua ni. So apa yang you perlu buat ialah uh, uh, Masukkan dalam formula work tu lah Untuk dapatkan SB betul tak <coughs> So masukkan dalam formula work tu Ni berapa guys Ni berapa Ni berapa Dapat berapa ni Tolong kira Ni dapat apa <coughs> Are you calculating guys? Dapat Jangan berapa? Hmm. 1 per 2 Kali 15 Kali 0.16 Kuasa 2 Jangan lupa hmm? Ke ada yang tulis jawapan dekat Apa tu? <laughs> Chat box <laughs> Tak ada Tak ada 4, 4, 2.399 eh Madam Betul, 4, 2 point kat sini, 5, 4. Allah. Kenapa lain-lain lah lain, eh? dia punya unit-unit ni? Saya silap kira kan? Eh? Saya tak tahu lah. Okay. Ada tak yang dapat 42 point 5, 4? Oh, sebab you, you perpuluhan 8. Okay, ada yang buat perpuluhan lain kot. Boleh kot. Okay. Oh. <coughs> yang ni, yang ni dapat apa? 0.25 kali 10 kasi 9.81 dapat berapa? 0.25 kali 10 kali 9.81 dapat apa? 2.4 negatif 2.4.525 Okay so masukkan dalam formula tu <coughs> So sekarang ni T1 kita adalah 42.39 Campur dengan jangan lupa ni negatif Equals to T2 kosong betul tak? Ini jangan lupa SB Ha, ah, so. Ah, so dapatkan SB
1.73. Hmm? Hmm, betul. Okay, so maksudnya, um, <coughs> so kalau bila dia tanya total distance, so you can campur lah. So the total distance of the block uh, of uh, block B, B before coming to rest adalah 1.73 tambah tadi distance yang tadi you dah calculate tadi. Berapa? Apa distance tadi yang dah calculate tadi? Mana? <coughs> tadi apa uh, apa <coughs> SB tadi ani ha oh 0.54 so the total distance akan jadi both lah 2.57 Okay So <coughs> So basically ni jenis soalan uh, Exam Before yang biasa tanya Konsep dia sama je Yang penting you tahu macam mana Nak apa nak gunakan Formula work energy Kalau tiba-tiba soalan yang sama Tiba-tiba dia tanya Calculate the time taken for block A to strike the ground. Maksudnya, you kena guna formula apa? Eh, you kena uh, you kena guna apa? You kena guna apa tu? Principle of energy. Eh, kalau hmm. disuruh calculate time taken. Eh, time kan? or time. Impulse. Ah, uh, you kena pakai impulse kan? Uh. You kena pakai impulse lah. Mv1 campur I omega equals to eh uh, plus impulse equals to mv2 plus i omega. Uh, so you have to look lah apa yang ada rotation, yang mana ada movement yang you consider lah. Mm -hmm. uh, so it can be the same uh, question can be extended and ask another question, uh, another thing lah. Uh, tapi basically yang kita nak hari ni ialah kita nak practice macam mana nak menjawab soalan exam supaya you all ada idea. Yang kedua kita nak try to uh, 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 different type of question yang bentuk yang ada apa slot ni lah selalunya kita asyik buat benda-benda bulat benda-benda apa rod kan benda-benda hmm. eh, bulat benda-benda square uh, so I nak I, I, you have a better idea <coughs> much more creative for your project lah hmm. okay try to find a, a creative concept for your project lah Relating all the three topics lah. Hmm. So, <coughs> the more you do, the more examples you Google online ke, look at the tutorial, you can have a better idea lah. Tapi kalau boleh, relate something that is near you. But you can also do examples <coughs> in construction site. Examples that are related to engineering work in construction site pun boleh. Engineering work in the factory pun boleh. Ah. Those examples, if you can relate, it will be very good lah. Hmm. Okay. Alright. So. Ambil. Hmm? Ambil dari internet boleh, Madam? <laughs> Tanya je. Example boleh? Ambil dari ah, internet boleh. boleh. Ah. Tapi, uh, apa? Uh, you have to make sure you draw the free body diagram by yourself. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Betul yeah. tak? Because yeah. if you take a picture from the internet ke, you tangkap gambar depan rumah you ke, Mm -hmm. uh, sama je lah mm -hmm. Kan It's still a picture kan Showing the real situation kan mm -hmm. uh, So you can take picture Using your phone pun boleh uh, But if you want to google From internet Pun boleh uh, But the free body diagram Cannot lah beri as, Dalam internet juga ah, okay, yelah, Buat je lah yelah, Buat lah Buat sendiri lah uh, ha. Buat lah sendiri ha. Ha. Boleh hmm. Draw the <laughs> What is good is you kena, the example yang you nak choose, the example that you nak want to choose must relate to uh, SDG, Sustainable Development Goal. You know, mm. it means that mungkin you, uh, the example is uh, conventional, traditional. Tapi macam mana you nak relate to Sustainable Development Goal? You nak save the cost. You nak save the energy. You nak save the time taken required. You know how you can relate that? 
to sustain, you can uh, uh, relate to reducing the waste of the material, couple something, whatever example that you can do that you can relate kan? Yeah. Uh, uh, to sustainable development goal, you masukkan criteria. The only key is you put uh, relate to sustainable development goal. You can show that for the same problem, you can get the same answer, tapi you solve it using different methods. Ah, uh, itu pun dapat markah tinggi. Uh, kan sometimes kita can same problem but kita use different method macam contohnya soalan macam ni kita guna kita guna method work energy untuk dapatkan omega kan mana tahu you nak guna you buat you nak buat soalan yang macam uh, macam groove slot yang sama ni dia ada dia tapi you nak uh, gunakan apa uh, apa uh, apa tu um, Newton second law faham tak uh, sebab benda ni pun <coughs> Ada dia punya apa, uh, dia punya apa, N dengan T dia juga, betul tak? Hmm. Ha, di, uh, sorry, dia, dia pun ada dia punya, uh, tak cantik ni lukisan. Dia ada dia dia pun ada dia punya N dengan T direction juga. Uh, so, kalau you can relate different methods, different problem, uh, the same problem but different solution method. Uh, and then, kalau you can <coughs> produce what you call a uh, graph bar chart ke graph ke maksudnya untuk soalan yang sama formula sama bila you tukar value you dapat linear graph linear graph kan you nak tunjukkan kan things like that lah mm-hmm. dia macam you buat research percentage ke I tak tahu macam mana you nak present you punya data tu faham tak tapi must be compressed in a poster ha, betul lah hmm <coughs> Macam you buat research lah, you change the weight, you change the time, you change the angle, you have a look at what parameters effect. Tiba-tiba you change the weight, the velocity is the same. Or rupanya you need to change the frictional force. Frictional force of the surface of the wheels yang make the difference. But the weight does not make a difference. Ah, uh, So you nak proofkan all that lah. Uh, so proof by calculation what makes a difference, what does not. Uh, faham tak? All those things lah. Make it into discussion. Ha. Okay. Uh, jangan um, terlalu stress buat benda ni. Tapi if you do it with your own heart, with your apa, with your own problem, maksudnya you bukan tiru-tiru kat internet, it will be a, be a very good uh, poster. Ha. And pesara boleh bezakan student yang tiru dan tak tiru. Cara you buat discussion tu, cara you terangkan, dia berbeza dengan copy paste from internet lah. Hmm. Hmm. Okay Alright So itu saja untuk kelas hari ni Okay sorry kita terextend lebih masa Tapi saya akan uh, Stop recording Okay So ada apa-apa soalan Okay so anybody